everybody, and welcome to part two of Ratchet and Clank Going Commando. I'm Nostalgia Scott, so let's continue down this pathway and see where it leads. And uh, there's lots of enemies here, so. Gravity bomb! Yeah, these enemies are too spaced out. Chopper time! You know what? No need to conserve ammo. Okay, apparently home in on the far away enemy, not the close enemy. Whatever you want. So yeah, this weapon takes a long time to upgrade. I don't know. The, the, the two weapons that you can buy on this planet are literally slow leveling items due to the fact that they're really overpowered for this point in the game. Like, it may not seem like they are, but they really are. Like, the weapons in this game are not more that powerful. Oh god, that guy just drowned. Poor dude. Now, I don't believe we can get the smash everything in the store here skill point. I'll try, see if we can get it, but I highly doubt we can. I've watched some people LP it lately, and I don't think it works. Come on, kill the little... Yeah! Oh, hey, that guy. Well, he still... He still died, no matter what. He still... Oh, come on, man. I hear somebody yelling, help, but... I can't really help you, dude. I swear, there's like very little bolts that actually come out of the boxes. Hmm. Hey there, guys. Oh yeah, gotta love killing weird rabbit-like aliens in the morning. I really don't know what they are. Oh great, some tentacle ate him. Ugh, everyone's hentai nightmare, eh? Hentai nightmares! Where tentacles rape young women and, uh, God, this is the thought of it so bad. I know some people are into that crap, but not me. No siree. A uh, Bubba G. Boink. Hey, you wanna mess with me, dude? I got the Lancer. It's probably called the Lancer because it literally lances the, your enemies for you. I'm assuming that's why. Also, this looks like a wall jump area. Oh, look at that. I interrupted her. I think she's angry. Oh, I guess you can't wall jump up there. Oh. Hey there, little guys. You guys are really weak enemies, I'm not gonna lie. Oh. oh. Another guy yelling for help. Dude, you're just gonna die. You guys always die. There's no way I'm gonna save you. Gravity bomb. What the hell? Where is he? And now these lily pads don't sink. Oh. Is this the boss fight? Yep, it's the boss fight. We got the Ooslian slime ball thingy. I, I really don't know. Ow! You're supposed to strafe and be fine, but. Alright, well, and he's defeated. Ooh, and our Lancer's almost upgraded. Yeah, bosses in this game are definitely worth a lot of experience. Most definitely. Man, you gotta get really close to ammo in this game to pick it up. Don't know why, but you do. Destroy all the light poles. Though they don't really illuminate the land very much. Oh, and here's the second gadget. See, I told you it'd be easy to get here. Oh, well, pick it up. Okay, sure. And we got the dynamo! Or dynamo, depending on how, how you guys want to say it. Press circle to use the dynamo to zap that activator. Actually, thank you. You called it the dynamo, so now we know for a fact what it's called. Nice, okay, sweet. Let's go open up this door. Now this is, I believe, the area where you start need you need to start destroying everything. Oops, wrong weapon. I don't know why I switched into that weapon. Your customers come first, eh? Okay, I'm tired of hearing that guy die, because clearly he's not here. He's seriously not here right now. Yeah, see, so there's nothing to destroy around here. And we got some of these little guys. Oh, I didn't lock on in time, so I missed a shot. Yeah, now, I believe the skill point is for destroying, like, all the merchandise. Though, the benefit of destroying all the merchandise means that you can also get more bolts. So, overall, it's not a bad thing to do. Okay. 
the straight the the aiming in this is a little weird due to the fact that you literally have to use the left analog stick instead of the right analog stick. Yeah, I don't get why sometimes it. Uh, it's the god darn dynamo target that's in the way. Okay, I don't think we're gonna be able to. Oh, come on! I got stuck! Oh, I'll just click a random staircase. Really? That sounds a little rude, don't you think? Hey, come on. You know what? Fine. There we go. That destroyed a good chunk of the merchandise. I'm hoping that works. Okay, yeah, we literally just need the one little area now. So... There we go. For that, we can just get over here. Dude, I don't even know what that was supposed to say, but... Do not mean to actually skip it. Okay, we literally missed one. What? I thought I heard something like coming to get me. Ah, oh, these guys. Alright, cool. Destroy them! Wait, how do I destroy the merchandise, though? And those are some big creatures that they're, you know, marketing these clo this clothing stuff for. Wait, can I destroy it via gun? Oh, you have to destroy it with your gun! Okay, that's a little weird. Thank you for choosing Megacorp for our customers. Oh, lots of stuff on the walls. And boom! Oh, and we'll use our last one over here. And we completely failed to destroy everything. Though, it's not that big of an issue because we can shoot it with our gun. Why does that one not want to be destroyed? Like, I'm shooting right at it and it's not being destroyed, so... I'm gonna come smack you! Oh, wait, you're just being a dick. Really? Man, like, what the hell? We can't destroy it because it's trapped. God damn it, game. You don't expect us to get the skill points, do you? Okay. Let's see. Maybe if I come over here... Like, it's invincible. I swear. Okay, apparently that worked. Destroy- shooting the very top of it. Okay, no, you can't destroy the walls. Or the windows. To the windows, to the walls, to the sweat strips on my balls. Yeah, that's not something you guys want to have a mental image of. <laughs> I know that for a fact. You guys do, you guys are probably crazy. Eh, just destroy this. Uh, anything down, down here? I don't think there's literally anything down here to destroy. So it looks like we need the dynamo back. Yeah, this is literally just like a little platforming section. A little platforming segment. Yeah, I get it. Tax laws still apply. So cool. I don't know if there's any merchandise up there or not. But we'll try and, you know... Wow, I'm not getting any gravity bomb. See, like, some of them are really easy to destroy and some not so much. And that's the part I really don't understand. See, like, that one I could barely even hit it and I still did. And you'll get bolts from things that you can't get to, you know? Like, they're in an area where you can not actually physically get to. Nope! See, skill point obtainable. So, when I was watching the new Fibonka do his, he just failed. More vandalism? Oh yeah, because in the original game there's a vandalism skill point. I believe also, technically speaking, in the third game there also is. Now for this you gotta be quick enough, otherwise the door closes on you. Ooh. 
Come in. Are you there? Copy, Mr. Fizzwidget. Listen, I have some new inflammation on our experiment's wherewithal. The thief was indemnified at Megacorp's Maktar Resort. Also, the thugs have towed a moon-sized jamming array into Maktar Resort orbit. Should I take it out? A formulas! It's disconfabulating our annual Galactic Gladiators broadcast. See for yourself. Ask yourself, are you man enough, hero enough, insane enough to step into the ring with two of the fiercest warriors in the galaxy? If you answered yes, you're a big, fat liar. But that's okay, because Megacorp is bringing galactic gladiators into your home for a special Mega View event. First, it's survival of the fittest in our bio competition. Be there as Chainblade, Chainblade, unleashes his fury on our gladiator guest contestants. Chainblade has gone undefeated in 500 straight matches. But if the bio division doesn't do it for you, our robotics division will. Taste the adrenaline as contestants face off against our four-armed bandit, the B2 Brawler, Brawler, Brawler. No living creature is a match for this machine. Watch six tons of carbonox alloy hunt for its prey. There's no consolation prize, cause this bad boy's programmed to show no mercy. So, what are you waiting for? Call now to bring Chainblade and the B2 Brawler into your living room. But put away the fine china. <laughs> the Galactic Gladiators, only on Mega View. Call your provider now. Chainblade, huh? I've got the coordinates. Ratchet out. Uh, you're talking to a blank screen, but funny thing is, uh, what was I gonna say now? Never mind, I completely forgot what I was gonna say. I am a boob. Thank you for shopping Return to ship. Um, now there actually is something that we can do that's a little different. Now, is it? It might be back this way. And I believe now with this done, there is a section where we can get another bolt. So we gotta go. We gotta go find it. Then we'll probably go to the Max Star Resort because I do believe there is something that we have to do before we technically get there. Like the Max Star Resort is one of those things where you'll actually be there for quite a while because not only do you have like one mission to, you know, do stuff physically, then you have a ship mission, then you have to do the jamming array, and then you have to do this and that. And it's just, it's just one long line of quests over in one area. Some areas are really short, other areas, like so, are, you know, long. This one, this one took us about one sure full video to do. Well, I bloody well hope so. Like, we need certain shoes in regular life, I'm pretty sure you need them here too. No exceptions, right? Now, is it... Is it this way that has... There's supposed to be like a... One of those little Loch Ness monster type creatures. It's supposed to take us to another bolt, so... Maybe it's not this way, but... It's somewhere, at least. Yeah, I feel like getting ammo in this game without buying it is a little scarce. Or maybe the vandalism thing too was also destroying all the light posts. Okay, yeah, you do have two recovery chances. For some reason I got stuck in there. Okay, maybe maybe the Nessie thing. Oh, it might be that one. I think it's that one over there. So yeah, we'll have to come back for that. I am gonna try and get this game 100% before, like, you know, getting to the end of the game. That way we don't have to backtrack as much. I'd rather a, a 30 minute video, well, probably less. I don't think any planet will ever take me that long. Uh, like, a longer video on one area completing it all than, you know, multiple videos having to go back and backtrack. Because you guys know how annoying it is to backtrack. My last LP was a... It was a little bad with that. There was like three backtracking episodes. Maybe like two and a half. And trust me, they were annoying. Okay, with this. I believe the plat the little Loch Ness monster was over here, right? Yeah, see it's that one. This was not here beforehand. And with this, just take it. And we should then be able to go and get another bolt. There might be one more bolt here. I believe there's three. And the other bolt 
once again, we cannot get just yet. Oh, there are also lots of enemies in this little hidden, hidden cave. Wow, really easy to take down these little bugs. I will admit, though, the bolts in this game look really nice. Not like the little ones, but the big ones. Like the titanium bolts, they look absolutely beautiful. So let's pick it up. Okay, and with that, we can now leave. Also, this game introduces you to Raritanium, which is another collectible item. Now, you guys know that Raritanium in Future Tools of Destruction upgraded your weapons. Well, they don't do that in this game. They actually upgrade something else. And you don't collect, like, thousands of it. You collect, you know, one piece here and there. Just like how in the original game, there's literally one piece of Raritanium in the entire game. And it was literally used to get a very good item. Will we have something like that in this game? I'm pretty sure most of the items repeat themselves, except for the ability to buy ammo remotely, and that was only in uh, Upper Arsenal, I believe. And I didn't realize you could actually destroy these little spiky trees. So, anyways, let's take our ship and go to the next planet. Because... Yeah, oh, never mind. So... What is the point of going up there with the gravity slash magnet boots, whatever they are? Not entirely sure. But anyways, we have two missions here. Find a way to thugs for less jamming array and win the arena battle. So yeah, we have two missions here. Let's go. So I don't know which part we'll do first. Question. First of all, I know Clank was kidnapped in this bed. Why was he wearing a towel? And now we have the Wuposh Nebula. Now, I do like the loading screen of this one better because it's like so starry. Okay, fire secondary weapons, fire basic weapons, barrel roll. Okay, cool. I believe if you destroy the ice, they sometimes have rare chain. Right? Just yeah. Raritanium. So you want to collect raritanium, destroy those. Upgrade. Otherwise, your mission is to destroy these ships. And yeah, once the lock-on turns red, you can fire missiles, and they do, you know, increase damage. The issue is, this is kind of like Star Fox 64, where you can take infinite damage from ships. Like, they, well, they continuously shoot you. You don't have infinite health or anything like that. No, that's not what I'm talking about. They can shoot you simultaneously without ever giving up. I wouldn't say that this is as hard as Star Fox, though there is a segment later on, as you guys can probably tell, that's going to be a lot more difficult. You can also pick up shield pieces from these guys, you'll have to upgrade your shields and stuff like that. Oh god, the game just gets insane, you know, the amount of stuff you have to do. Now we're only on wave one, I believe there's two waves here. Uh, ooh, rare titanium. don't mind if I do. Rare Tanium will automatically come to you. Sometimes ships drop it, but generally the Icy Meteors will be the ones that give it to you. Yeah, there we go, there's some more. Now we have Wave 2, which is another 20 ships. Ooh, getting some Rare Tanium here. Did you guys just, like, die already? Okay, Partial Shield, perfect. You can now survive a little bit longer. Uh, ooh, Rare Tanium, perfect. Like, apart from trying not to die, I highly recommend you guys collect that stuff. It is going to be very, very important. Ow. Come on, dudes. Really? Thank you. Ooh, full shield. So yeah, we only have one shield bar, which I believe partial shield is technically enough to fill it up. Full shield, when you have the upgraded shield, will definitely be a very awesome item to pick up. Enemy and there we go, we're done. Proceeding to the Mactar Nebula. And we're out of here. Well, I assume we're going to be out of here soon. There we go. So yeah, just like Future Tools Destruction, this has ship missions. Literally the exact same thing, except in that game, it was auto scrolled. This game, you can actually move around. So anyways, we made it here to the Mactar Nebula. Still no blank, though. Oh, 
Okay, so, uh, probably can buy a new weapon here. Nope. So anyways, guys, in the next episode, what we'll be doing is we will, uh, probably just do some crazy shenanigans. Also, I do believe that another skill point here is literally destroying everything, so, yeah. Issue is, if you die, everything comes back. Sure, it's good for getting bolts and all, but it's not going to be very good for anything else. <laughs> not in a long shot. It's going to be super annoying. Okay, can you destroy that? Oh, and not to mention the enemies here are actually kind of cool. So, I'll see you guys next time for some more Ratchet Clank going Commando. See